welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to prove this uh, cute identity uh, natural log of theta of s is equal to s times integral from 2 to infinity pi x here by x so we know prime counting function over x times x to the s minus 1 dx okay how to begin well first uh, i'm going to begin with uh, euler product of the theta function so we know uh, theta of s is equal to uh, product here uh, p is element of uh, sorry r not r here p uh, prime number 1 over 1 minus p raised to the minus s and now if we take natural log both side uh, we can write natural log of theta of s is equal to natural log of uh, here product p is element of prime number here 1 over 1 minus p raised to the minus s okay now we know natural log of product we can represent uh, by using sigma notation so we can write here this is equal to uh, three elements of pro, uh, prime number here uh, natural log 1 over 1 minus p raised to the minus s okay uh, then um, uh, now i am going to take uh, some identities uh, according to definition of prime counting function so we know um, pi n minus pi n minus 1 is equal to 1 uh, for uh, n is element of prime number uh, then uh, pi n minus pi n minus 1 is equal to 0 uh, for here n is not element of prime number and also we know uh, phi of 0 is equal to 0 and also phi of 1 is also equal to 0 okay then um, now uh, gathering these informations uh, so we can write now natural log of natural log of theta of s is equal to uh, sum of now n is equal uh, yeah 2 to infinity n is equal 2 to infinity uh, pi of n minus pi of n minus 1 times natural log of here we have 1 over 1 minus now instead of p now i am going to use n so n minus s okay now uh, we can split uh, this sum into two different sums so we can write na natural log of theta of s is equal to uh, sum of n is equal to 2 to infinity here pi of n pi of n uh, times natural log of 1 over 1 minus n raised to the minus s and uh, then here uh, minus pi n minus 1 times minus uh, again n is equal to to uh, infinity here pi of n minus 1 times natural log of 1 over 1 minus n raised to the minus s okay then uh, i am going to rewrite this sum again so here n is equal to to infinity pi of n times natural log of 1 over 1 minus n minus s minus now uh, here I am going to re-index this sum uh, so uh, we know uh, phi of 0 0 phi of 1 is equal to 0 so no issue so now instead of n I am going to plug in n plus 1 so here we have phi of n times natural log of 1 over 1 minus here n plus 1 raised to the minus s n plus 1 raised to the minus s 
okay then um, now we can uh, write uh, here we have in the denominator 1 minus in plus 1 raised to the minus s so we can write this part into in the numerator so here we have uh, but minus 1 power so here minus 1 we can take in front of this sum so uh, this will be uh, plus so we can write here uh, n is equal to to infinity uh, pi of n natural log of uh, 1 minus n plus 1 raised to the minus s and uh, then uh, here we can write minus now here plus so we, we know here minus 1 uh, we come to the in front of sigma notation so here minus n is equal to to infinity uh, pi of n times natural log of 1 minus n raised to the minus s okay now uh, we can write uh, this is equal to n is equal to to infinity now pi n is a common factor so pi of n times natural log of 1 minus uh, n plus 1 raised to the minus s minus natural log of 1 minus n uh, raised to the minus sorry here uh, minus s okay then um, what can we do okay now uh, another interesting point here so now i am going to take uh, derivative of here we have uh, uh, natural log of 1 minus n plus 1 but here n and same power minus s minus s so i am going to take the derivative of the derivative of natural log of 1 minus x to the minus s so we know this is equal to the derivative of natural log function 1 over uh, function so here 1 minus x to the minus s uh, and derivative of minus x to the minus s so minus minus plus so here s uh, and here x to the minus s minus 1 okay now uh, we can simplify this so here s uh, x to the minus s and here we have x to the minus s we can write here x times 1 minus x to the minus s now if we divided by x to the minus s by both uh, numerator and denominator we have s over uh, x times x to the s minus 1 okay then uh, here according to uh, fundamental theorem of calculus we can write uh, now this is equal to uh, natural log of natural log of uh, theta of s is equal to um, n is equal to to infinity here phi of n phi of n now according to fundamental theorem of calculus we know this is equal to uh, integral of integral from n to n plus 1 uh, s over x times this part x to the s minus 1 here dx okay then um, now uh, if you find if you find uh, first few terms uh, if you find first few terms n is equal to 2 to infinity 2 to 3 3 to 4 so uh, you can combine all the integrals uh, so uh, you will have the prime counting function so we can write natural log of theta of s is equal to um, s times 2 to infinity pi of x over x times x to the s minus 1 dx okay this is our identity if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for